Hey, we're back with some questions from the viewers of some of our other videos, which we are going to answer. I'll try and answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of them is, is the game okay on standard 3DS, or should you get a 3DS XL? Well, it's not just this game, but I think the usual 3DS is tiny. Like, smaller than the other DSs, which... I don't like you tried them both in the shop the other day, didn't you, when you yeah. were looking at some different games and you were shocked at how small the normal 3DS was in mm. comparison to the XL, weren't you? Yes. So, we say, if you're buying a 3DS just for Animal Crossing, get an XL. Already. If you're buying a 3DS not for Animal Crossing, get an XL, because it's better. Yeah, it's having it too small, was, it was like completely too small. Yeah. Uh, okay, next question. Is, is Animal ask you Crossing this. a girly game? Is Animal Crossing a girly game, Joe? Well, um, <laughs> it can be, but some things aren't. What does that mean? So there's no fighting in it, and there's no car chases. There's no guns. <laughs> there's no blood and gore. <laughs> so does that make it a girly game? Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> but you used to nice stereotyping there, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you used to you have to arrange flowers and plant trees. Um, not exactly the worst game, but I do enjoy playing it. Why do you enjoy playing it, even though you're a boy? Because it just it unravels the story over a period of time. Yeah. Which sometimes can be annoying, but sometimes can be fun. I just think it's it's nice. It's not particularly either way. Gen people look at it, and because it's got sort of cute characters on it, they think yeah. it's for girls or young children. But actually, it's such a complicated game when you get into it that it really Your is. Your children will not be able to play this. For anybody. In fact, if you're slightly obsessive, that's probably the kind of person that it's for, really. Okay, next question. Um, ah, yeah, somebody asked, does the grass wear away? in New Leaf, because um, this was something that did happen in the old games. Happened in the old games. Did it happen in Wild World? I have or, no idea. No, I think it only happened in City Folk. When you ran around, if you were running in your town, the grass would wear away. So if you ran around your town a lot, you'd end up with lots of sort of desert brown mud patches where you'd been running. So I've been watching this game. Have you noticed the grass wearing away at all? Oh, I know there's some places where it has worn away. Yeah, there are some places, like just coming off the bridges in our town where we've run across the bridges and then stopped. It's The, the grass has worn away, but I don't think it's as bad as it was in City Folk. How do you get it back? Do you just wait or do you water it? You get it back by planting flowers and watering them. And when the flowers grow, the grass grows back. Uh, okay. So... You could always get your grass back, which is good. So the answer is, yes, it does wear away, but I don't think it's as um, marked a degradation as it was in City Folk. Certainly, it hasn't spoiled our enjoyment of the game, has it? No. No. I don't really realise it. You know, you didn't because even notice, so, did you? Some of, the, some of the places, like on Main Street, where there's all the shops, it's like degraded, but on purpose. Yeah. So I think it's just... Just I, an I effect of the ground. It, yeah. Okay. Alright, I think we will leave it there.